Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be teach you how to synchronize audio. Now, this is really important if you've recorded on an external device, like maybe an H4 in Zoom, and you need to synchronize in post-production. So you can see right here that we have a clip recorded on a GoPro, not the best audio from that. So I recorded also on my mic right here. And the problem though, is they're out of sync. When you just throw this file in here, it doesn't know, it's not going to align itself to the video because it doesn't know what the video is. It just recorded audio. So what we're going to do is we're going to synchronize this back to the audio so we can throw out that bad scratch audio and we can only use the good audio. Adobe Premiere has a couple ways of doing this. We're going to start off with the easiest point and click sort of way of doing it, which is going to be clicking one button and then we'll work down to doing it manually in case the synchronize feature did not work. So what we do right here is we're going to just first cut this audio clip down. We don't want Adobe's program to be syncing up audio that is just like random noise. We want it to be doing its best job and giving the best data to the algorithm. So we're going to cut it right before the clap and right after the clap. And then now we can highlight both of these and we're just going to right click on it. We're going to click synchronize and you can see that it could be selected on these. What we need it to do is be selected on the audio radio button. We're going to go ahead and click that OK button and voila they are now synced together and you can see this by if we just go up here and we click the mute button on this one hey what's up everybody adobe masters here and today i'm going to be teaching you how to synchronize audio that they are now synchronized if this is off a little bit you can adjust it using the manual method i'm about to teach you um and if it's completely off you're gonna have to use the manual method anyway let's go over one quick more addition to this rule over here is over here we have the GoPro audio and then we have the audio recorded by itself. We can actually synchronize the two by highlighting them, clicking merge clips, and then clicking the audio right there and then remove audio from the AV clip. What this does is it just creates a new clip with only the AV audio. So you can see that if we go ahead and just delete these for a half second, that Hey, what's up everybody? It does all the work for you and then it outputs a file that you could just drag and drop into the, the, you know, the project instead of having to do it manually. Another way to do it, just thought I'd show that really quickly. So let's control Z, let's get back to our original audio and let's say it's back to here, synchronized didn't work, let's do it manually. So you'll see up here, this is usually how it is and this is the time code format. It's gonna be frames per second because we're editing audio or um, we're editing video. So the best way to do this is we're going to actually bring this down here. We're going to cut off the top and we're going to try to align them. And the reason I was talking about the time code signature is you see once we get really close, if we move it, it goes a half frame to forward, half frame back. There's no way to actually synchronize them while we're in this format. So what we need to do is we need to right click on the timeline. We need to hit show audio time units. And what this does is it allows us to get more into the nitty gritty. So now we can actually drag it and you'll see that there's a ton more frames in between here you could say so get it really close and if you need to like do a little bit more wiggling without clicking and dragging you can hold down the alt key on a um on a windows device click on the audio thing and then use the alt key hold that down and then if you right click on uh not right click if you use the arrow keys here you can see that it is moving it back and forth pretty slowly but it works so this is for a really fine adjustment. We're gonna get these aligned really perfectly. So we're gonna keep zooming in. You can see there's like sort of plateaus here. So we just kind of wanna line them with the plateaus like so. And then just kind of go through it and make sure, whoops, where to go? Kind of go through it and make sure that they are all synced up. If you don't have a clap or something, you can just zoom into any part of the timeline, get them kind of close to one another and try to align it like this. And then all you have to do is just mute the first one. Hey, I'm gonna be teaching you how to synchronize and see if they're synced up just like that. That is how you do it. Um, Adobe Premiere Pro has a great button. Just click it, click sync, and it'll synchronize the two together. Or you can do the manual way like I showed you. Just remember to change that time code at the top so you can actually move it how you want to move it. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. I hope it helped you synchronize your audio. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, throw those in the comments below and I will be sure to answer the questions and respond to those comments. Uh, if you want to see more Adobe related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love to post about mainly video related topics, but I post about a lot of other things too, sometimes jumping into InDesign, Photoshop, stuff like that. Thanks everyone and until next time, see ya.